Hi everyone. Um, Catholic voters, Catholics are concerned with Biden running for election and they have every reason to be concerned. Um, in fact, a Catholic voters group launched $9.7 million campaign against Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden targeting Catholic voters in swing states. I mean, they really need to wake up to this atrocious monster and what he's been up to. And I'm going to give them a tweet and give them a little 411. Um, because myself as a Catholic and having a relationship with Jesus Christ, um, Joe Biden is, is such trash for, 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 for anyone to be exposed to, let alone him winning the election and having control over religion. Um, everything's going to go to hell in a handbasket. And, you know, they love to finagle their way by saying these flowery little statements to kind of, you know, impress you. But once they get in, it's, it's communism. And here they are making laws so pedophilia is normalized. Um, they created laws in the name of art so children can be mailed in boxes. Obama, Hillary, I mean, these people. And this is part of the tweet I'm going to send out to this Catholic vote. We're dealing with the most evil monstrous co corruptors of this earth when it comes to everything everything Joe Biden and communist China touches turns to sheet s-h-e-e-t I'm just going to say that use that term so Catholic Vote is organized as a lobbying organization in both a related political action committee that's non-profit and in June, Brian Birch, who's president um, of this advocacy group on um, the political advocacy, ad advocacy group, Catholic Vote said that the group aims to achieve historic turnout amongst Catholics in the upcoming November election. So in particular, Birch told CNA who did this story um, this summer that the group is focused on turning out every active practicing Catholic voter. Um, it says it is nonpartisan and aims to encourage voter registration and voting among practicing Catholics. Catholic voters in swing states, for example, um, the advocacy group led by Catholics said Tuesday it's launching a campaign uh, to reach Catholic voters in swing states to call attention to presidential candidate Joe Biden's policy agenda policy agenda on issues of, imp of importance to Catholics and a record of public service the group called the group's calling anti-Catholic I mean, if we're looking at the issues on the surface, it's alarming. But if you go down and you peel back the layers of Biden, what his origin and stance is and where he comes from politically, behind the flowery talk and behind the lies of the Democrats, um, pure satanic pure satanic 
Um, Brian Birch goes on to say, we stand with our Catholic bishops in making clear that no person has a right to judge a person's soul or relationship with God. Instead, we're fulfilling our obligation as Catholic lay persons in defending the time-honored truths of our faith publicly and repeatedly cast aside that were cast aside by Mr. Biden over the past 47 years. Brian Birch, president of political advocacy, advocacy group Catholic Vote, told CNA just yesterday. The group plans to release a comprehensive report on Joe Biden's decades long career in public service from a Catholic perspective, which it says will assess where Biden stands today on issues of fundamental importance to Catholics, including the sanctity of life, religious liberty, judges, education, the dignity of work, and core, core issues. Joe Biden is corrupt to the core. And you know, you have, again, Gavin Newsom standing in front of a, I don't know if it was like a, a prop Catholic altar. He's a pedophile. And he's part of the agenda of America getting attacked by the left radicals and our police being ambushed. And they're legalizing pedophilia and they're legalizing in New York assistance of mutilation of, of female genitalia and rioting and children being used in, 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 in sexual entertainment situations, which I think that comes down to child porn is what they're talking about. They're trying to legalize this stuff. And regular people will fall out of their socks when they look, they look at the facts, let alone this, the Catholic group. Um, you don't have to live life according to the left's agenda. Um, people have their own thoughts and that's one thing they want to take away. And if Biden wins, they're going to take away our religion. They're, they're, <laughs> they're going to decimate our constitution. So um, I'm glad that Trump is in communication with our Catholics because Trump knows firsthand the monsters these, these left radicals are from violence to pedophilia to trafficking torturing children for adrenal chrome and Biden is a part of all that he's a pedophile he's a practicing pedophile the communist China is all a part of that all right guys I'm so glad that they are seeing Biden for what he is. I'm going to send this group a couple of links, a couple of paragraphs of my opinion. Um, and you know, God sees all. God sees all. And the left, these devils have been trying to pull the wool over our, our eyes. And they've done a good job at it. But at the end of the day, they're, they're not going to win. Um, but we got to fight for we got to fight for that victory in God's name, in Jesus Christ's name. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Take care of each other and stand tall, stand strong, and let's support our president. And let's not listen to celebrities and, and their quack talk because they're controlled by communist China.
now. They've been controlled by communist China for a while. So they can't think for themselves. They can't. Not all celebrities, but I mean, they're, they're pretty much they can't talk or think for themselves publicly. They have to go with the agenda. It's just, it makes me want to throw up. So let's not listen to them when it comes to the political views because they're forced. They're forced. They're, they're, at times their life depends on it. They can get killed for talking about the truth. No false idols, guys. Let's put our energy into our president. All right, guys? All right. I'll see you guys later. Take care of each other.